Renegade started with Indianola Middle School across the alley from 4th Street. Debbie Campbell was volunteering. And she was in a meeting with a parent consultant who asked Debbie if our church could start a Bible study for her two junior high kids who attended the school. Okay, we'll do that. Honestly, I was, I was not like super gung-ho about the idea, but we did it. And so we got all ready and we prayed and we prepared and we had a teaching and then no one came. The first couple weeks we prayed, didn't have anybody. Then kids started to come. We, I think the first meeting we just had two and then it got to be about five. And I think the first, I don't know, four or five months we might've gotten up to five, six, seven kids. And then God brought two kids and then four kids and over the next six months it just started to grow and take off. But then the following year, man, the whole thing exploded. We had uh, not just junior high kids, but their little siblings and some of their older siblings. And pretty soon we had 20, 30 kids spanning from like second and third grade up into high school. Uh, I was involved in starting a high school group called The Pack, which still exists today in a high school ministry. So Renegade today, you know, looks a little different. It's an elementary thing. It's only K through five now. As far as post-COVID, yeah, we had, uh, we didn't know if we'd be here today and um, had that conversation at one time. But um, God has blessed us. I think through the COVID, we grew a lot relationally through our families. We saw the ability of uh, the church and whole dwell to serve us in so many more ways than just the way we were doing in our meetings because without a meeting, we didn't have Renegade. Uh, when I think about Renegade, there's a verse that comes to mind uh, in 1 Corinthians. It says, Brothers and sisters, think of what you were when you were called. Not many of you were wise by human standards. Not many were influential. Not many were of noble birth. But God chose the foolish things of the world to shame the wise. God chose the weak things of the world to shame the strong. And I think the reason why I think of this verse is because you had a bunch of people who had no idea what they were doing but were willing to serve. And God brought together all these kids who also didn't know and they learned about Jesus and now some of them are serving in Renegade Ministries and it's a miracle to see. And it reminded me of that expression that God uses um, ordinary people to do the most extraordinary things. And that is absolutely what we've seen in Renegade with people who are just willing to say yes. I think the thing that struck me throughout our involvement in Renegade is that our city is just filled with street after street of kids who would come to a Bible study if they only had a chance to do it. And uh, I'm super glad this is still actively happening, that, that kids are still being reached. And uh, man, there's still a ton, a ton of work to do.